Hey gang, it's Chaz from Shoot the Light. I've been posting uh, lately on Facebook all my images with watermarks across them and on 500px and some of the other uh, sites across the web and have been receiving a lot of inquiries as of late as to how I do that. So I thought I'd put together this uh, short video tutorial to help you get along. Uh, first, you'll notice up on top here where it says shoot the light. That's a PNG file which enables me to save the picture uh, or just the image, uh, logo in this case, on a transparent background. So once I have the, the logo opened up, I'm going to come down to the blend modes and I'm going to change that to overlay. From there, we go up to the top where it says filter. I go to stylize and emboss and I change the amount to about 150% and just click OK and then I can drag that image into uh, my my original picture and you'll notice it's on a transparent uh, look to it, a transparent uh, layer and you can see the effect on the on the shoot the light uh, on the waterfall right there so the next thing we do is come down to where it says uh, layer styles and add a drop shadow and from here I can take the drop shadow right on the actual image itself pull it, move it around, change the opacity in our dialog box. So let's say we go about there and we can also um, change the size if we wanted to, spread and distance and so forth. I'm going to leave it uh, as it is for the moment and just click OK. Now the next thing we can do is change the opacity so I can make it lighter or darker and position it um, in the image just by moving it around to wherever I want. It's pretty simple. The other way to do it is to make a text layer. So I click on my text tool I'm going to make a fairly large uh, text here. So we have uh, all uh, rights reserved. Oops, change my spelling here. So all rights reserved. I'm just going to click the little commit arrow up on the top and again do the same thing. So we're going to go to our blend mode. We're going to change it to overlay. We're then going to come up on top to filter. And you'll notice right up on top here it also says emboss. So I can click that. I can click uh, Command F on a Mac, Control F on a on a PC, just to reapply the last filter. But just for um, uh, ease here, I'm going to go to Stylize again, Emboss. It's going to say Raster the image. We're just going to click OK, and there we have it. Come back to my layer style, put my drop shadow back on there, which enables me to see it, and I can change the opacity a little bit if I want on the drop shadow click OK and we can now uh, use our move tool if we want to position that accordingly and again come back to layer opacity and drop it down so there you have it pretty simple way to do that you can set the whole thing up as an action if you want uh, just click function and F key and apply it to uh, whatever images that you so desire I recommend you do it um, I just had a bunch of images stolen off of uh, Facebook, they actually took my watermark and my copyright off there and uh, somebody replaced it with theirs and put it up on the web. So we all know anything we put on the web can be screen captured. Um, but it's best to safeguard ourselves as, uh, as much as we can. So I hope this helps uh, pretty quick. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free. Shoot me an email. Info at shootthelight.com. You can check our website at uh, shootthelight.com. And uh, check us out on Facebook, Charles Glatzer. Hope you're having a good day. Look forward to another one. Take care, guys.